let's try solving for our test statistic Z. For number one, the given is sample mean, X bar is 90, population mean mu is 88, standard deviation sigma is 6, and the sample size N is 100. Since the sample size is 100 and it's more than 30, it's considered large. Therefore, we use the formula for one sample Z test. Now we solve our test statistic Z. Our X bar is 90 minus our population mean is 88 over our sigma is 6 over the square root of our sample size, 100. If we continue solving it, that's going to be 90 minus 88, that's 2 over 6 divide the square root of 100, that is 0 0.6. So the value of our Z is 3.33, repeating. This is the value of our test statistic Z. Problem number two. Our X bar is 80 minus our population mean is 83 over. Since we don't have our population standard deviation and we only have our sample standard deviation, we can exchange sigma into S. They are just the same. Our sample standard deviation is 4 over the square root of our sample size, which is 100. If we continue solving that one, that's going to be negative 3 over 4 over the square root of 100, 0 0.4. That is negative 7.5. So our test statistic is negative 7.5.